Good afternoon. Welcome to the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. Our entrance hymn can be found in the Floricanto book, number 600, Ven al Banquete, number 600. Please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always, my brothers and sisters. As we prepare to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first with humility ask the Lord to forgive our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words and what I've done and what I've felt to do. Through my fault, through my fault, the most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, we are prepared for those who love you, good things which no eyes can see. Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love. That loving you in all things and above all things, we may obtain your promises which surpasses every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered together all the tribes of Israel at Shechem summoning their elders, their leaders, their judges, and their officers. When they stood in ranks before God, Joshua addressed all the people. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, In times past, your fathers, down to Terah, father of Abraham and Nahor, dwelt beyond the river and served other gods. But I brought your father Abraham from the region beyond the river and led him through the entire land of Canaan. I made his descendants numerous and gave him Isaac. To Isaac, I gave Jacob and Esau. To Esau, I assigned the mountain region of Seir in which to settle. Now Jacob and his children went down to Egypt. Then I sent Moses and Aaron and smote at Egypt with the prodigies, which I robbed in the midst. 
Afterwards, I led you out of Egypt, and you reached the sea. The Egyptians pursued your fathers to the Red Sea with chariots and horsemen. But they cried out to the Lord. He put darkness between your people and the Egyptians, upon whom he brought the sea so that it engulfed them. After you witnessed what I did to Egypt and dwelt a long time in the desert, I brought you into the land of Amorites, who lived east, who lived east of the Jordan. They fought against you, but I delivered them into your power. You took possession of their land, and I destroyed them. The two kings of Amorites before you, Dambalik, son of Sippor, king of Moab, prepared to war against Israel. He summoned Balaam, the son of Boa, Bea, to curse you, but I would not. But I would not listen to Balaam. On the contrary, he had to bless you, and I saved you from him. Once you crossed the Jordan and came to Jericho, the men of Jericho fought against you, but I delivered them also into your power, and I sent the hornets ahead of you. That drove them, the Amorites, Parasites, Canaanites, Hittites, Gargoyles, Hivites, and Jebusites, out of your way. It was not your saw or your bow. I gave you land that you had not tilled, and cities that you had not built to dwell in. You have eaten the vineyards and the olive groves, which you did not plant. The word of the Lord. His mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord for His good, for His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for His mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Who led his people through the wilderness? For his mercy endures forever. Who smote great kings? But his mercy, for his mercy endures forever. And slew powerful kings. For his mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. And made the land a heritage. For his mercy endures forever. The heritage. The heritage of Israel, his servant, for his mercy endures forever, and freed us from our foes, for his mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Some Pharisee approached Jesus and tested him, saying, "It is lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause, whatever." He said in reply, "Have you not read that from the beginning, the Creator made them male and female, and said, 'For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother.'" And be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. 
Therefore, what God has joined together, man must not separate. Then said to him, Then why did Moses command that the man give the woman a bill of divorce and dismiss, them, dismiss her? He said to them, Because of the hardening of their hearts. Moses allowed you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. I said to you, Whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, and marry another, commit adultery. His disciples said to him, If that is the case of a man with his wife, it is better not to marry. He answered, Not all can accept his, his word, but only those who, to whom he's granted. Some are incapable of marriage because they are born so. Some because they are made so by others. Some because they have a re renounced marriage for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever can accept this ought to accept it. The Gospel of the Lord. Today Jesus talks about commitment, which today society is one of the biggest problems of all the problems that we have. It's lack of commitment. We know how disposable things that we have can computers, cell phone, anything that we don't need anymore becomes disposable. And my fear is that we are becoming also to one another with our job, with our relationship, with human beings, they also become disposable. If I don't need you anymore, I can move on. And how we love. I need you, therefore I love you. But it's shown being that way. I love you, Therefore, I need you. But to do that, it requires grace, it requires courage, it requires a choice. We cannot choose to love the Lord or one another based on emotion or attraction, or I scratch your back, you scratch mine, and that's not going to be successful. We have to be committed. We have to choose to love. Not because we need another person in our life, because that's what God calls us to do. And when we do these things, the Lord will bless us. And everything works for our best. So we come to Mass every day to receive the body and blood of Jesus to strengthen us in our commitment. It is very easy today in a disposable society to throw things away, but also people. That's the worst thing as a human being we can do to one another. Make another person disposable. A friend, a spouse, parents, relatives, just because things don't work well in our life. Let us ask the Lord to give us the grace and the courage to see how as a human being we can do things such like this, not to be committed to one another, only because our needs are not fulfilled. Let us ask the Lord for that grace. Let's remember what Jesus says. If you save your life, you lose it. If you lose your life for me, means for when we give one another in love, you will save it. Let us now with faith and confidence present our petition to Heavenly Father. For the church, may God continue to bless and protect her and sustain her in her evangelizing mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, to hear our prayer. For leaders of nations and governments, may the spirit of peace and truth always guide their work. Let us pray to the Lord. For husbands and wives, may the love of our tribe in God strengthen the matrimonial bonds and heal any wounds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick in our community, may they receive swift healing and consolation from the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they soon rest in eternal splendor in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. For the repose of soul of Juliana Pallet, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to gather in your holy presence. We ask that you hear our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.
We invite you to come forward and place a donation in the baskets near the sanctuary to up the mission of the cathedral. We thank you for your generosity. Hey, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours be accepted to God, your mother, father. Receive our oblation, O God, by which has brought about a glorious exchange. That by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. You were to whom you made all things, whom you sent as a Savior, a Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, the born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will again for your holy people, to stretch out his hands as endure his passion, so as to break the bounds of death and manifest the resurrection. So with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Blessed is 
You are indeed, Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. A holy the four these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and then willing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrated the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Hosea, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed Apostles, all the saints will please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coherent the eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, O Mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. A civil command formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in that day, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church. Graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. On you stay, quit all his Oh
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. I only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion song is in the uh, red hymnal. It's number 1023. I receive the living God, number 1023. for 
Let us pray. May the partakers of Christ through the sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be as co heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. We'd like to welcome everyone who is visiting the Our Lady of Cathedral uh, of Angels for the first time. If you may raise your hand, we can recognize you, welcome you here at the Cathedral. Anyone new visiting? Welcome. Perfect. Yeah. Please don't forget to validate your parking validation at the bronze door, which is good for 90 minutes. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace now to love, serve the Lord and each other.